Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> like, oh shit! You know, like, <laughs> do you get it? I didn't, no, I don't. I don't see it. You see, no, but I just unmuted you chat. because I couldn't hear you off air. Yeah. So um, I added it to the Dropbox. Okay. And I, and I'm talking to you in guest chat, and I have to like give you a little. <laughs> no. So <laughs> we're little, we're unmuted now altogether. So. Oh, we're muted, like we're to the stream. Yes, we're streaming. So it's in the. Where is it? Where'd you send it? And Dropbox. Dropbox. Mm-hmm. What's up, right, awesome productions? Link, What's up, Paul? G. Albert. Hello, everybody. Bishop. Wait, I'll send it to you. Glenda. Devin. Samuel. Hello everybody. This is so this is so not right when Folgers and I are in separate rooms because we have Okay, I'm sending it to you. Okay. Right. You can't just airdrop it to me like right there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop is ready. Notebook pen. Desktop. Check. Be hey. ready. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, check check your email. Babes. Okay. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. Gotta be All right, quick. you guys. FYI, please, if you do not have the grid, go ahead and go to buymeacoffee.com slash Anna and Fulgens and download the grid. We're going to be using it tonight. And there's no email. There it is. <laughs> too quick to talk there, mister. I mean, it wasn't there. <laughs> Just oh, well, because he needed to do refresh. <laughs> <laughs> refresh, Fulgence, refresh. Refresh. Wait, do I have to get close to the microphone now, or are you good? You're good right there. Don't don't go any further. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, everyone. Show background. Oh. Showing background. What happened? That's up our countdown there. What's up, Dina? Oh my gosh, we hate so fast. Samuel, guys. end of the week. Yes, dance is Sammy. We'll be back to our togetherness on the end and in building blocks on Monday. Of course, Glenda. With pleasure. <laughs> 
Hello everybody and welcome to Building Blocks. My name is Anna Hill. And I'm Fulgens Henry. Today we're going to teach you how you can, inside of Ecamm, design an animated background for whatever it is that you want to use. You can use it on your uh, waiting screen, you can use it inside. We're going to teach you how to do it and then you take it from there and design everywhere else. We will want to see what you create with this. Again, you can design with other grid, but it will be easier if you have it. So for sure. So this is what we call the basket weave overlay. But before we get into that, do we have any um, Q and A's that we needed to address before we start this overlay with any questions submitted or anything over the week, Anna? Um, yeah, so it's, it was this design and mm -hmm. then um, it's, it's basically the shape. So when we're adding a shape and we are well, for instance, you're gonna have to do it because well, oh my gosh okay make you full screen um no wow. because i'm not <laughs> well oh you know what wait a second we got a request so i'm gonna do this now that you have me big screen okay so <laughs> can you guys see it nicely wait there you go right there i don't have a sony but how about this that looks good hey that looks, that looks good, good. You approve, Fulgence? Approve, approve, approve. <laughs> so there it is. There it is, you guys. My beautiful ring. I love it. I love it. He did so amazing. He did great. Aw. Um, All right. So was that, was, um, so any questions before we go into the to design? Wait, so, anything? yes. So one of the questions was the, you know, when we use the triangles. It's something that we have mentioned before, and it is great that you guys ask those questions because then it allows us to explain it differently. But when we are using shapes, because we're importing it from, it's not, we're importing it. It's, it's not native and it, it has all the pixels around them, right? So it, it, we're limited to where we can move it, where we can position it in um, the screen. So it goes when um, you get it closer to the edge, if it already has the pixels, you know, the pixels already touch the screen, you, it's going to delete it. Is it going to woof? You'll just do literally. like a little poof and <laughs> disappear. Yeah, it just go woof. Literally, that's what it does. Fulgence, like it, it just goes to the screen and it and it's the same thing. So you have to measure where that little the dead pixels and Fulgence, If you can show it, that will be easier for for yeah. them to. Um, that's cool. You are Into welcome, Galinda. The live of the demo, and wait, is my does my face look really big? And no, here, am I, my no, because I feel like my framing because of ENN is if like. If your face ever looks big, just look at my head and you'll be fine. Okay? So. I don't think your head is we're big. We're going anyway. to <laughs> Command N. Let's see. Um, maybe if we just do text, right? Let's just add this, for instance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? And then let's try to bring it to the. Thank you, Devin. The screen. There you go. It yeah. did it. There you go. So, yes. Command Z brings it back but let's say you're trying to like push this to the far end of the if you go to the other side it will it will be um it will show better because of this the side? comments are not there yeah mm -hmm. right here okay yep there you go just disappears yeah so let's show let's show with a triangle and let's show with a with a circle because that's where they were saying they were trying to get it like we get it so last week we had a circle all the way, you know, down because we could do it on that one. <clears throat> right. And it, it was halfway. That but was a bullet point? Yes. No, no, that was actually a circle. That was actually a circle. This one, and though, that's, right? Which circle? Like the um, like a outline? This one? It was a, a full circle. Full like circle. A, it, it was shaded. A um, bullet point. Yes. Okay. I guess it's a bullet point. Yeah, a bullet point. Uh, All a right. Circle. Bullet point or circle. It's a bullet point. That's a circle. Let me see if I can bring okay. this over. Uh -huh. yeah. This so one. Bring it down, yeah. Yeah. And if I make it bigger. So it wasn't that. Yes, there we go. So mm -hmm. that goes right. But if you see the pixels on the top, if you try moving it up. So Fulgence, try that. No, because when you do this, it's locked in, you know? So you have right, to Right, so that's what I'm saying. It. Yeah. So decrease no, but more. if you brought it to the top the way it was, right. you couldn't move it anymore. Right. So that's what pixel. I was trying Let's to show. Let's yeah. here. Yeah, look at that. This is as far as it goes, you guys. Mm -hmm. Even if you make it smaller, this is as far as it goes. It's not going to go past. Yeah. So and you just have to play around. Go ahead, Fulgence. No, I'm gonna say, I'm, I was going to say, like, let's say we have it up here. 
and then we try to expand it, it just defaults to go to the bottom of the screen. Mm-hmm. Right. Bye. So, right. Mm-hmm. So this is the rising moon. Yeah. So yeah, so you just have to play around with the shapes, and sometimes I have had luck with changing the font. So I find uh, a shape that I like, and so I I change the font to either bold or thin or ultra thin if it's available, the typeface, and then it allows me to move it a little bit more, but just a little bit more. Uh, right. Not- and the beauty of these triangles is that you know you don't have that much dead pixels on on each side, so this can go from one end of the screen to the other like so so these are very flexible mm-hmm. yeah yes that's what triangles okay. are bomb half yes. of triangles are bomb yes i'm not sure about the full triangles you guys right. okay so that was that was one of, that was one of the questions if you guys have any other questions before we start anything that you have been trying and having um, a little bit of difficulty with ask let us know well, before we get into this design because we're going to try to go right through with it. Mm -hmm. All right. And thank you so much. Hello, uh, Dina. Thank you so much, Devin. Appreciate that. Thank you, Devin. Um, So Glenda, um, your question, Glenda's question. Um, you cannot fix that because that's how it is. That's how it is. That's what is imported. It's already flattened, but we have a, f- a feature request to have shapes so mm-hmm. that we can manipulate it anywhere we want, right? Any way we want to. So stay tuned <clears throat> for that. But for now, just play with the typeface, play with the fonts, download different fonts and play with it. I have a whole, I'm like, Fulgence, I'm going to find the circle. So he's just waiting for, for me to find the circle, but I'm going to find that circle. Right, right. So just play with the font, play with the typeface, play with the font family typeface, mm-hmm. and just uh, see what happens when you click it and just change it. Scroll right. through the fonts. Right. Yeah, and see what's available in uh, thefont.com and other um, places where you can download some interesting yeah. font. Yes. Like Env- Envato Elements have some really I'm cool gotta start checking fonts. those out. It's just a paywall for people who do not have the Envato Elements, but we right. can start checking that out for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it has a lot. Most of the ones that I download just because I am like, you know, virus and all this stuff, um, I download it from, from Envato. Envato Elements. elements. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fulgence is a rebel. He downloads from the font. The font is fine. If there's an issue with the font, uh, you, normally um, the Mac will give you some warning and you give it permission to <laughs> install. <laughs> but I'm telling you, he's a rebel. I, I, I'm so like, far, nah. so good. Okay. Are you ready to build some blocks? Let's do this. All right. All right. There are no more questions, right? No, I think that Hi, was Catherine. it. Hi, right? Catherine. Okay. Awesome. You guys, let's do this. This is the coolest thing. Just have your stuff ready. You download your grid and here we go what's up with all these uh these little spams here mr moderator go ahead and do some uh spam deletions because that's uh interesting that's the second one that popped up anyway and then her name sounds so innocent right hello um <laughs> kathleen watson good to see you here <laughs> what is that Come on. thank you so much that's for the, the comment question. that you put up yeah <laughs> How do we do, how do we decide decipher that Kathleen Watson? Anyway. <laughs> no man. All right. So we'll do a new <laughs> new scene. We'll come here and then we'll go into demo mode. We're gonna start this bas- basket weaving, you guys. And we're going to do source. Or am I demo mode? Let's go back into demo mode and let's do source blank. This way we have the grid and Let's bring ourselves on the screen. We could just be there or let's bring on interview mode here. How about that? There you go. There we are. All right. Bring us a little down, get out the way. Boom. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do, let's do a solid background. Miss Hill, give me a color. Um, let's do, oh my gosh, wait, I'm blanking <laughs> out for real. I'm trying to think of, let's do teal, teal, like the, an, the pretty teal, a pretty teal like this. Yes. Not the like 
Yes. Like yes. Anna Till. Oh my God, you're <laughs> such a nerd. I am yes, a nerd. Like <laughs> nerd and proud. Geeks <laughs> United. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But um, let's see. We would like to have the background, but maybe we'll bring the opacity down a little bit so we can see the grid. How about that? Like yeah. so. Okay, perfect. So we have the background and you can still see the grid and we can bring the opacity back up. Hello, Gretchen. Good to see you here. So this is going to be a series of uh, text boxes, vertical text boxes, right? So you can simply hit command and, and let's type vertical. Let's restore default style first. Vertical. And we could take down um, the corners to zero and we could leave the margin exactly as is. Yes, Ms. Hill. So how many lines are we going to have? Uh, We're going to have three and verticals and three horizontals. Okay. Should we start with the folders first? So that, or do you want to do that after? Well, let's add this first. All right. And then we'll get back to this first because I don't want to get scolded here. It's heel wants the folders ASAP. So <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> but, for real. But you know what crazy. though? No, 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 no. Don't. When designing this, there's no folders here because you'll you'll see you'll know you'll you see why in, in a minute towards the end uh we for this oh, because for of this the particular overlay yes. you do not use folders you can put everything in one folder and store it somewhere or export or whatever but you do not use folders for this overlay you need everything yeah, okay, in okay, one okay. panel all right so let's delete that and we're going to take this vertical and scale it like so and there you go and you have a tall box this is very simple. That's the easiest that's happened to me. Thank you, Ecamm Live 3.9. <laughs> if Ecamm Live 3.9 contributed to that, but that is awesome. And we don't need the text, the font. So we bring that to zero. And let's change the color of this background. So since Miss Heel selected teal, we'll do maybe like some um, white. White will be cool. We'll do white because we're going to have a series of colors. So this is just like the first one, for example. Right. So teal, teal, and um, and kind of yellow, the same tone will probably look pretty. Okay, so we're gonna do the white across the white vertical, and then you said yellow. Teal and yellow. Okay, and we'll do yellow horizontal, for instance. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's do this, and then so once we have the the middle, uh, the middle box, we're going to option drag and do two more so these are kind of like your pillars here right so option drag and let's bring this over like maybe right here and then option drag and bring this over where is that right here all right so we have our three pillars these are our verticals i think this is a little too far i think there you go right so we have our three pillars here and now we're going to do horizontals. Command in. Horizontal. And we're gonna make this like a yellow. How's this? Something like this, the lemon yellow? Um, I think a little bit darker. Just a little bit darker. <laughs> okay. We'll see what it looks like when we bring the um, when we bring uh, the teal back up because it's kind of like you know uh, the, mm -hmm. we have the opacity down. So let's bring mm -hmm. this across like so. We can increase the margin a little bit, and we're going to drag it across the screen. So this is just phase one of the weaving because we didn't start the weaving process yet, and then we're going to option drag this a few times, right? So option drag, and bring this like right here on the blue line of the grid is that a blue line but anyway right there and it's option drag and bring this like so okay so that's the first step something looks off let's see here maybe bring this up a little bit okay that looks a lot better All right, so now that we have that, 
now that we have that we are going to assign some animations to the horizontal and the verticals right but you're going to leave the middle text box alone so you're going to leave the middle horizontal and the middle vertical alone you're just going to animate the other two right so let's do this let's take this one which is the top horizontal text box and we can have this fly in from the bottom take the bottom horizontal text box fly in from the top okay let's hide these for a second hide the horizontal for a second so we could give access to the verticals let's take the left vertical and fly in from the right because we're creating a crisscross effect okay and take the right vertical and fly in from the left all right so now we can reactivate these all right so now let's start weaving it miss hill how's it looking so far it's looking great okay so since we don't need our grid, let's bring the opacity on the, the background. Let's bring this back up. Let's make this solid. Let's lock this back up. Let's turn these on. Come back. All right. How's this yellow, Miss Hill? I like it. Do you like this color combination? I like it. I like it. The, the, the white is, you know, whatever, but it's fine. It's fine. What should we change yeah. the white to? Maybe, maybe you make like a, like a blue or something. You guys, what should we change the, the, the white to? The white, the white vertical lines. Okay. Cause I like the teal and the yellow. So awesome. maybe, maybe, maybe lime. Lime. Let's maybe. try. <laughs> maybe lime. Let's try that. Where is lime here? I know there's a lime. Like the the green, the Fulgence green, three point nine. Like that. Um, mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. I mean, I don't, I, I, I don't know because the other ones are white. So now it looks like the lamp on the on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So in the meantime, we'll keep it white. You guys, what color should we change it to? I'm like, is is Sally? Is Sally in the in the? <laughs> all right so now we're going to create some type of weaving going on right so we are going to layer them over each other so like horizontal vertical horizontal vertical horizontal vertical let's see if anything is missing a weave i think we got everything no this one this is the top bar here This one here, let's bring that over. Something like this, but play around with it. It's getting late. I'm not gonna, my weaving skills are not on par right now. Right. Okay. But something like this, right? So tr do some type of over under to get that weave look, right? So apparently like this third, um, the third pillar here is not weaved under anything. Uh, let me see if I bring it down like this. What does that do? It's not cooperating. Or if we bring a vertical here. Yeah, but there's a way. There's a way that you can get them all to overlap each other the particular way that you want to. But that is not the important thing right now. So then the next thing that you want to do, you have you have your you have your three horizontals, you have your three verticals, you have your colored background, right? You have the animations, you have the verticals uh, crisscrossing, flying from left to right, opposite directions. You have your horizontal crisscrossing, flying from top to bottom in opposite directions, right? So that's it. And then you layer it the, the way that you wanna layer it to create that weaving effect, right? So once you're done with that, you go to your scenes panel, 
this scene here that we're going to call basket weave basket weave one. All right. So you take basket weave one and duplicate that bad boy. Okay. Basket weave two. All right. So now that we have basket weave two, check this out on basket weave two. Let's take the background color and change it to something else. So if we want to keep the same color family, for instance, we can take the background and make the background, which one is it? Banana. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then take the horizontals, make the horizontals teal. <laughs> yes. Okay. Apple pie. <laughs> Yeah, there's a, it looks like it is like a apple pie. Teal. Take the other horizontal, make that teal. Okay. And then that could stay white for now. Um, I guess that could stay white for now. Why is this one like this one needs to go on on something? But anyway, all right. So, and then you can repeat the process. You can do this for as many scenes as you want, right? Change the colors around, do as many as you want. In the intro, we have about, I would say, maybe like five of them, maybe five or six different variations of color patterns, right? Because what you're gonna do now is that once you have your different uh, color patterns laid out, Basket weave one, basket weave two, basket weave three, and so on and so forth, right? You're going to trigger them like so. Look at that, All right? Back and forth, okay? So that's how you get that effect. So now the secret sauce is, which we cannot do that while we're live, but you can do it on your end. What you're going to do of course, you won't have all of these scenes here in your folder or in your overlays panel or in your scenes panel. You're going to have create dedicate like a separate uh, a separate panel, right, with just the different basket weave animations. And then you're going to hit the record button. Once you hit the record button, start triggering each one. One, two, one, two, or one, two, three. How many, however you have, right? How many in whatever speed you want to trigger them, okay? And for however long, we suggest maybe 15 seconds or 30 seconds. And then once you're done with that, end the recording. All right. So now you're going to find your Ecamm file and drag that back into Ecamm. But when you drag that back into Ecamm, drag it into Ecamm as an animated overlay, not as a movie. Drag it as an animated overlay and select the loop function. Okay. So you see here, autoplay, do nothing, hide temporarily, hide, stay hidden, loop, select the loop function. Okay. And there you have it. And that's how you create the basket weave. Well done, Mr. Fodens Henry. Well done. Well done. Very, very, very good. Um, yes, you could. You could. You know. Um, go ahead, Miss Hill. No, I'm saying you could, but for this one, it will be a little bit cleaner to to do it this way. Yeah. And then also I can see I can see doing other animations like this that would be clean. For example, bringing your you remember how um, the twins when they were doing the subscribe button, the subscribe button, the subscribe. Remember, that can be something that can be done here and you don't have to know a program. So you don't have to like learn Final Cut Pro or, or um, the Premiere. Right, mm -hmm. it's something that you can just have the graphic, bring it in, just just um, trigger it, just like Fulgens did, and then just have that graphic, just record it, and that's it. That's your movie. You don't have to get anything else, right? You can right. import your graphics from either Canva, have a, a font, or have an emoji, and do it right inside of Ecamm like that. 
and right. you can have folders which is okay you can do it that way too and time it but this way i do think it's a little bit cleaner yeah and the thing with the timers is that now you um you're at the liberty of the timers versus you triggering the scenes mm -hmm. the way you want to trigger them and how you want to animate them and the order you want to animate them and keep repeating it or going back and forth so maybe if you have a stream deck the stream deck will make it a lot easier because you could lay out all the scenes on the stream mm -hmm. deck and then trigger them that way for 15 to 30 seconds and then end the recording right mm -hmm. um and also what we've done is if we go back to the intro here here we like that's why it's important that you add this as an animated overlay let's go into demo mode here and as you see over here let's uh zoom in here as you notice ecamm live recording so this this comes in as an overlay right and you can basically do the hold the shift and the two finger scroll like so let's see if that works let's turn off the countdown do shift and two finger scroll to bring up the opacity or the lower the opacity. See? Mm -hmm. So this is the actual, this is the actual uh, animation here. This is what the finished product was, right? In each scene also, we have the building blocks logo in the lower corner with different colors in each scene. So you're triggering each scene and the building blocks logo can change colors. The font can change colors. So you can do this with literally whatever. So let's do the shift and two finger scroll to like, you know, make it a little transparent. Right, so now we're in, we're we're back there, right? So that's how you do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can add um, any, uh, sound um, sound effects to it because you're just you're recording, right? So it depends on the timing that you want. So you can add um, you can add sound effects, whatever as you're going through, and it might look really cool. As for sure your, yeah whatever whatever the graphic it is that you want to do so we, literally you guys we cannot wait to see what you create because now you have the 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 premise i guess the, the basic of this and then now you can take it for sure you can take it like like bishop <laughs> <laughs> elizabeth right. the paul duncan like, Paul, you can actually have your cue come in a couple of times <laughs> <laughs> in your design. You could probably do that, too. And then make it blink. Right. Make it sound like ding afterwards. Oh, this is um, this is what I wanted to do while we we're here. I kind of drew a blank. But if we go back into demo mode and go back to the intro and if we duplicate it. And we just like, let's say you do a main camera. Right. If you, you know one of those people who likes the fanciness of an animated background, you're cre basically creating your own animated background in Ecamm. So you have mm -hmm. this looping behind you, and then you add your camera over it. <laughs> ah, the, the lovely, the <laughs> the lovely uh, that camera, brother. Right. All right. And then let's bring the corner radius down, right? boom you know there you go and you have your own animated background that is so cool that is so cool it could be whatever you want you could be triggering the triangles and the triangles are changing colors but and and that's the beauty of doing it manually versus using the timers because you get to time it and you get to you know speed it up or slow it down according to like how you want your animation to um be you know how do you want the animation to come in so that's it thank you tony <laughs> that looks great mister yes yes good good job yes if you were here we'll make you a sandwich for this but since <laughs> <laughs> yes so let's see what you guys can do with why are we still in demo mode Let's see what you guys can do with that, you know? Let's see what you guys can do. And that's 100% Ecamm. You're re it's the it's an Ecamm recording and you bring it back in. But make sure again, you bring it in as an animated overlay, not as a movie so you can have control over that overlay with the opacity and um, you know, and you could bring your cameras behind it or over it and all that good stuff. So, just yeah. make sure it's, it's you, an animated overlay. If you add audio though to it, then you will have to bring it with 
um, you'll have to uh, do a movie. Yeah. So the audio can come through. So you have to uh, save it with audio. So when you bring it in, you say play with audio so that then it can play. Right. Team Renew You. Good to see you here. Thank you so much for the feedback. And <laughs> Hi, Team Renew You. Kerwin Bornell. Thank you so much. Yes, digital, a virtual fidget spinner. <laughs> right. <laughs> for sure. For sure. <laughs> It's hypnotizing the hypnotizing the viewers. <laughs> Look into the design. <laughs> Let's see here. I mean, this is this is um this this does make a. I mean, like it's it's not for something like this. It doesn't have to be as let me option drag. It doesn't have to be as like busy as this, you know. But mm -hmm. just think about the the possibilities of creating your own animated background in ecamm mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah which is cool just so cool boom yeah and then um right bishop yes yes yep and you could link your audio afterwards that is absolutely right yes that looks great it does look good looks really really good so let's see what you guys come up with i'm excited i really really want to know like how many what type of animations you can create up in here you know lower thirds and all that but the thing is like with the lower thirds is i mean it can be done right you have to have like you have to bring your camera overlays back into uh ecamm after you bring the lower third animation there right so you have to leave some room for that because it's not like you could bring in like a transparent animation. But we have experimented where you can do like use a green. But then if you bring in as like a screen share overlay, it's not going to look it's that's that's a little too much. You might as well like just do a keynote or something like that if you're going to do that. But let's see what you guys come up with. Miss Hill. No, I'm just thinking about, you know, like that. Like, they, it could be as intricate or as simple as you wanted to make it. Yeah. You know, and, and add your 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 sound effects, your music, whether it is you're going to sync it later or just record it with the music already so that you just have one file and you don't have to worry about, you know, if you were producing for yourself, you don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, I need to add the sound or anything. Just record it, bring it in with sound already right. and just have it um already isolated yeah the possibilities are endless for sure for sure endless yeah right because like what would what would it take to create something like this like you said like a final cut pro or something like that mm -hmm. yeah yeah you have to i mean first of all you have to buy the software and um if even if you get the free trial like you it's gonna end <laughs> right so if you have graphics you can just import the graphics and make it like the simple because you will have your scenes that you just have to trigger and you just have to know what's gonna come first last and you, you just do your own animation per scene yeah yeah and the fact that you could just like loop it is just so awesome and mm -hmm. and um on top of that too like when you're recording it right you you have the option you don't have to record this as 4k this can be 720 right so this is not yeah. taking up anything anything right. on your stream whatsoever mm -hmm. yep and yeah um bishop we we are we are having the list we actually have uh um yeah we have a list and and, and if you have any questions on um, bishop uh dm us any feature requests so okay. that we can send it in right any and, any of you and if i go into demo mode if i go into demo mode here check this out this is 16.7 megabytes. 16.7 mm. megabytes. This overlay. So cool. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We should take the screenshot of this. Actually, we'll go <laughs> take it out already. Right. Yeah. So well, I can send it. Of, uh, of this overlay? Of, no, no, no. Of a bishop. Bishop's uh, feature request, <laughs> right? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> totally agree. Is like, uh, that only us? Yeah, Corwin, right? Miss Hill, because you have Final Cut, can you answer this question? Yeah. Um. Where Where is the question? From Curran Bornell. Where's it at? Right underneath you. Oh oh oh. <laughs> um. 
Look down. Well, I had to scroll down, mister. I have to scroll down. Um, yes, you do have to pay for Final Cut Pro. At least I did. They do have a trial, but then you have to... Um, it ends, so you have to pay for it. Um, but yeah, it's... it's um, and then it has a learning curve, right? With here, you just, you just go by your scenes and you can have it as intricate or as minimalistic as you want by just triggering the scenes and then record right yeah that's that's way easier than final cut pro for sure and then for instance you use premiere so right? yeah and i don't even ask me how to do create this in premiere <laughs> exactly I would not right know. I would not that's know. What, exactly that's what it is and it's like like that like from i yeah it's just it's just pretty great it's pretty great Tony says, I would like to request that they have an option to turn off the scroll wheel affecting resizing. <laughs> uh, well, you know, besides to lock the scene, I mean, but that, but yeah, that, that would make it easier because sometimes you don't want to lock the scene for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. So that would be mm -hmm. cool. Well, there you have it. Yeah, we can so let's, yeah, so I'll, we will, thank we'll you take so much. Yeah. Yes. You guys, yes. anything else just do it because we will write this down and then we send it over um, to them. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, do not let Paul see this question without the cue. But <laughs> did you use the same effect with the triangle design? No. So this right here is uh, the triangles on one end of the screen to the other. And they're each just flying in or flying from the top, flying from the bottom. So when you trigger the scene, the animation will trigger and that's it. Like it's not a video. This, these are standard text overlays with animations assigned to those overlays. That's it. Mm -hmm. Right. Whereas this one here, we showed you, we created the animation and then we recorded the animation and then we brought the animation back into Ecamm as an animated overlay and we looped it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's and it's just it's just easier for simple right for simple designs it's easier than than designing say for me in Final Cut Pro because Final Cut Pro I will have to especially exporting it right and you have to like write a description and you have to you don't have to but it's just a little bit extra extra to do yeah um, and it's it's bigger so your library just gets can get as you know if you're using Final Cut Pro your library can get your your hard drive can get full pretty quickly because those libraries can get very very big for sure for sure yeah um but um one thing go ahead Fulgens, actually oh no i was gonna answer a question but go ahead <laughs> sammy maybe so so you know what that's a great segue sammy actually because we we are making some plans for 2022 and we want to know your thoughts about we we want to create um different um we get a lot of different questions, not only design questions, but we get questions about cameras, about microphones, about um, mon uh, in-ear monitors, a, a lot of different things because obviously this is what we do. So we know about the equipment as well. Would you guys be interested in learning, um, having tutorials about that, right? Having tutorials about camera settings, about microphones, but in a well, we can take it as advanced as you want, but we will start super basic. So we will start from level one, let's say. Mm -hmm. Are you guys interested in that, right? What was the other one, Fulgence, that we were talking about? Uh, creating office hours or a Zoom style session where the community can join and work on your lower thirds, your animations. So anything that you're doing inside of Ecamm, you're working on building you know or designing your show right so everyone's there together working together and we can help you along the way with any technical assistance that you need in mm -hmm. the zoom room right and then we and it's basically something like this where we, we have the tutorial but this is more hands-on because we can see each other and communicate with each other and interact with each other in real time yes mm -hmm. and so the the other thing also is depending on what you you're doing you know uh, uh, we can also work on content creation on your content creation rhythm 
on your how you're gonna be posting and things like that so we can work on that as well but we want to know before we um, to know what you want first right it's a content creation and you want to uh, kind of create a rhythm and which platform you should be streaming into and which graphics if you have different shows all of that requires a level of planning that we can also help out with mm -hmm. so just yeah. let us know what you're interested in so that we can start planning and we know which one to roll out first in 2022 yes okay um, awesome productions. Why not use the color wheel for custom color mix? Uh, absolutely. You can definitely do that. You know, for mm -hmm. sake of tutorials, we just stick, we just go towards the crayon to make it quicker and easier, but by all means use the color wheel or use the color picker to create even more custom colors or use color codes. You can definitely do all of that. Uh, but and for sake of tutorials went through that, yes. yeah, we actually went through that on, um, the Ecamm design challenge, uh, one day mm -hmm. one and we went over that. I want to explain that. And there's also a video on building blocks as well, where we, um, go through how to set up the perfect interface for designs. And we go into some, into a little bit of more detail into that as well. So if we find the link, we'll probably just drop that in the. Mm -hmm. we'll drop that in the, the comments for you as well i like that i like that bishop and actually um keely had a uh okay you definitely should offer small group consulting work groups in your niche that's a great business idea that meets a need mm -hmm. thank you keely yeah um okay office hours and yes Devin. thank you <laughs> yeah okay the building black series that addresses the basic of content creation that sounds good. That sounds good. Content creation is the bomb, in, in my opinion. Content creation. Because if you don't have your content creation, what are you going to offer, you know? Like, yeah. All right. Do we have any? I think we had some, a few more questions. Oh, my gosh. We have another, another Abram. And those names sound so innocent. Those spam names. Abram. Hey, hello, Abraham Patrick. Like, yeah, thanks. Thank you for your comment. <laughs> I need a class in stinker and bumpers. Okay. Okay. We are going to write all these down. Please, guys, this is great. Keep writing what you need, where you have your plans for 2022 so we know. Um... Yes, yeah, Sammy. Something like that, for sure. Nice, Paul. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. Fontaine, where are you at? You're putting it up there, and I'm like in the chat. I'm so slow right now because I'm like, yes, I want to read every single comment because i ate tonight <laughs> great um, and actually you know like i'm like i'm shining bright like a diamond <laughs> oh my gosh so uh awesome productions i uh, <laughs> we dropped the link to that video in the chat so you know take a look at that video when you when you have some time where we show how to set up your interface and all that good stuff if you needed it Right. Yeah, Elizabeth, this is a memory hog. And um, Kerwin, Kerwin, um, you were thinking that it was in Keynote and saved as video. Hmm, look at that. No, Ecamm. Yeah. Yeah. The things yeah. that are going to happen inside of Ecamm, the more features they release to us, the more powerful and, and more flexible this the signing inside of Ecamm is going to be. And you guys are going to love all of this. But you know what? See, Kerwin, you made a great point, right? Because this definitely can be something like a stinger transition as well, mm -hmm. right? So you just make it a little quicker. Yeah. It's just like, or just maybe use one scene or something, right? And then you bring that back in. Definitely. On the other side, yeah. Right, and then mm -hmm. I, I believe once it's over, I don't know, I don't think it has to go to next scene with, when finished, but this is something you probably do manually or add the timer to it. Mm -hmm. So it could trigger the next scene afterwards. A call to a call to action will work great with this technique. A nice Ms. call to action. Why is your microphone so far away? Because you asked me to put it far away. No, I did not. When, you, when, did I, when would I ever, ever ask you to put um, your microphone <laughs> far away? <laughs> <laughs> she, she like move it. That's, you guys got an like, ENN, and ENN, he's like he's texting me. He's like, 
Lower your volume. Yeah, there's lower your volume. Not put the microphone. That's like Paul saying, go ahead and um, add a question without the cue in front of it. <laughs> well, that's funny. But the thing is that I get super excited when I speak, right? Which is why I get so self-conscious when I have microphones in front of me. So I put them loud so that, I mean, away. So that when I get excited and I start talking, I don't, I don't um, peak, right? But then <laughs> today I had it like this and we Sounds did a funny. test. We did a test before E and N. All the volumes were gray, you know, sounds. And then I'm getting text from Folgers. So Lower your volume. <laughs> like, what the heck? Because your energy went from 100 to 205. So. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So that's why I have to give it away. So you know, when we do a sound check, we have to do the sound check at the 205 energy level. That's what it is. <laughs> well, I'm not yeah. there yet. Because you know, you're like, hello. I'm like, hey, how's my audio? I'm like, oh, your audio is great. But then when they can, yeah, welcome to the camp. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, get me in. Like, yeah, okay. I mean, it's, it's the like, adrenaline. Oh, yeah. I, I, exactly. After the know, countdown, this is like a whole different volume level. So. <laughs> <laughs> when I get back, I'm like, that's why I'm like, I either cover my mouth, move it away. And then sometimes I have the, the headphone volume, like at nine, and I'm like, oh, shoot. And then he's like, no, you're sounding nice. I'm like, no, 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 I'm elevated, but still. It's like, yes, Donald Oliver, this is an amazing mic. I love it. It's the Lewitt. Yeah, for sure. For and sure. it looks so great as I model my mic with my new bling bling. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yay. So we have some great tips. Wait, if you're using audio hijack, place a limiter or a compressor in the chain. That's for fulgence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but mm. Oh my gosh, a wedding countdown. You, Listen, you guys, like um Doc is already planning the entire wedding. So that's just to let you guys know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> The whole wedding has been planned by Doc. Doc, Doc, <laughs> Doc, and others want this to take place in Hawaii. <laughs> the space and everything. Did you guys know that Doc is an ordained minister? I know, right? That was like, what doesn't he do? And he actually sent pictures to prove it, and it wasn't Paul. Halloween. It wasn't Halloween. <laughs> oh my gosh! Listen, it's not. It's not. I have the. I have it. Uh, <sighs> A six. I have it at six. And well, that is a great volume. What was I it, don't have what was it during the in in in? Six? It was six. It was on my show, officially on official TV, which by the way is an amazing show, right? On my show, I have it. I, I get it a little bit elevated, but because the topics are more of like mental health, relationships, quietness thing, I don't get that loud. But even then, even then I was Speaking is because this mic is so strong. <laughs> okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> and by the way, for, I, I, Fulgens asked for one of these for Christmas, so I guess we're gonna be twinning pretty soon. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Paul is one too. Paul is an ordained minister. You are? Oh my goodness, look at this. I'm telling you. <laughs> Keely. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> yeah, awesome, Devin. Uh, oh, yeah. He said. He said he's the efficient. He claimed that thing. Yeah, they're already like making. They're already making plans. And Lem, Lem, just also he's saying that. Oh, that's funny. What is it? Who is it? Who is it, Sammy? Oh, Sammy, oh Sammy. you're dating Ecom, so you're dating Ecom. Oh, got you. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, Sammy's cheating on the max. <laughs> look at look at that. You know what, Paul? So if the couple you marry already has uh, their four K, I ain't using you. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I'm like, you guys for real. That was like one of the first questions. <laughs> No kids for me, man. I don't have time for kids. There's a request, no. Miss Hill. Um, okay. Here it is for your wife. Let's see. I don't have a Sony, so it's not as as, as um I can, do, Henry. I can do something. I can do something. Hold on. Okay. Bear oh, you have the pictures. You're gonna yeah. pop the pictures? Bear with me, you guys. Okay. He took a whole bunch of pictures, you guys, of the ring, of course. But it is so pretty. It is a beautiful, beautiful ring. He did so great. He got he got his favorite food made 
for him. Oh, this did, is so great. Did, did, did I? <laughs> that happened? Not yet. Not yet. No, no not yet. <laughs> you're That's going funny. to. You're going to get it. Not yet. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but it was. Why it was. It was the cutest up? thing ever. All right. Here you go, Bishop. It's coming. There it is. That is such a it, it and this doesn't even do it justice because my hand took over. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap! Okay, move it down. Oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful thing ever. And when I was in the plane and the sun hit it just the perfect way, it created a universe, right, Bebo? Right. <laughs> it created kind of like it created like a universe. It was so pretty. Yeah. Thank you. Aw, look at that, 34 years. That's where we're going. That's amazing. Yes, that's amazing. amazing. That's great. Congratulations, amazing, you guys. 34 years plus, it's amazing. Yes. <laughs> Christmas <laughs> present on a Sony <laughs> camera. <laughs> no, um, I'm good. I actually got, uh, to, just to get Doc happy, a Nikon. Nikon. A50, a Nikon. A50, and I'm going to play with it because the focus on it is supposed to be better than this one, even though I really love this one. Sony cameras are great, and we use it for production when we have to move it a lot, mm -hmm. but the new camera I got also has the same capability, so I cannot wait to try it because yeah. I do love my Nikon. I just love the codec in it. It's just so beautiful. Yeah, so you have the you have a lot in this Nikon right now. Is that correct? Yes, I, I just play with all of the beautiful right. colors that it has in there i and used you, i used the um yeah go ahead no i'm just saying like you could just tell the difference in the color science right now but that's why we still need to try that out right because like you guys this camera that i'm using now is the this is the sony a7 III, not the s3 the sony a7 III, and this is a g master 2470 the sony 2470 g master lens but it'll be cool to like you know play around this is just straight out white balance that's it like there's nothing else going on there's no light in here or anything like that so yeah so he cool so he keeps telling it. me i'm gonna bring my camera so that you can do the same thing and yeah. we can see and how compare. it looks so exactly. that would be yes yeah. mm -hmm. so we will do that and we also go outside and, and these are the things that we want to teach you guys mm -hmm. because it's, it's it's good um purchasing your camera and playing around with it but after you white balance your camera there is way more that you can do with it and make your settings the way you want them mm -hmm. and always be like that save the presets and you can even save the presets you guys by profile so you can set the preset of your camera and uh and then it changes by profile i was like what and we actually discovered that by accident because fulgence is like why doesn't your camera look the same and I was like, because we're in a different profile. And then we went there and then it was different. It was, yeah. I, it, I don't know what that is for because the camera is the camera. So I have to like dig into that and see what's up. Are you going to be doing the Lem LUT in 2022? <laughs> what is a Lem LUT? Lem, Lem, the, Lem is a Nikon also, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could tell. You could tell like, yeah, you guys, it's like has, it has a particular uh, look to it. That's pretty cool. Like a film, a film effect. Right. A film. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Film is, I, my oh goodness, it's beautiful. <laughs> this I'm is thinking beautiful. of moving over to an etch and sketch a sketch. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Wait a second. I saw something about, like, another person was married by 20 years. Yes, that was Tony. <gasps> Congratulations. Tony. Oh yes. my gosh. That is so great. 20 years, you guys. Yes. Fulgin and I are about to last 100. Uh, <laughs> um, with some uh, uh what's that um invincibility um potions yes we'll last there awesome production <laughs> says could you could you lower the opacity to to reduce the uh intensity well for for this one you know you're gonna have the solid background so you know if you lower the opacity in this one it's just going to like you know kind of i don't think that's gonna work too well but you know in the intro for instance right if we go back here yes you could lower the opacity here if you like if um it's not transparent enough for us we can definitely lower the opacity here all right so you could see us a little bit more clear right so 
Um, hopefully that answers your question. Yes. This is great, but look at all the stuff we covered, you guys. In an yeah. hour, Fulgence, we did this. We did it. We did it. We, we did, did it. this in an hour. We actually did the tutorial straight up, which is something that we were trying to do. Good. And we're like, you know what? We're not going to conversate. <laughs> conversate. <laughs> we're not going to conversate. We're going to go straight to the tutorial and then we will ask the questions. Gretchen, 44 years on the 17th. Oh on my gosh. Glad. Congratulations. That is amazing. Awesome, awesome. And awesome. you know, I hear some people, you guys, saying, Oh, I've been together with him for so long and uh I don't know, like we still argue about is that true? Because what do you Bray, like are you what are you gonna argue about after forty after twenty years? After forty four years, what are you gonna <laughs> argue about? You already know each other, <laughs> you know, you already know everything I'm, I mean possibly so what right. are you gonna argue about is that true uh Gretchen you're 44 years Bishop you were was it 34 you said 34 yeah 34 plus and then Tony 20 years mm -hmm. what do you argue about <laughs> <laughs> like what right. kind of things what do you argue it, about what new things do you find to argue about after that that long amount of time <laughs> <laughs> All right. or if I you mean, argue about the same thing it's like does it have an effect on you it's like eh. right <laughs> this is but like then at that point argument. it won't be cool though you know like it won't be good because it's like a dismissal and it's still if, if it's something that still kind of bothers the other person it shouldn't be like brushed off right so mm. but at the same time it should be dealt after however many years you should right. like Right. Come on, man. <laughs> Let's stop this situation right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Three and a half years. You choose your battles. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. It was 73 years. Because I know this, this couple, right? This couple is... They're in their... I don't know how long they've, they've been married, but they're in their 80s. And the lady just left him. I was like, what? Like, she just left. I can't deal with him anymore. And she left. <laughs> I was like, where are you going? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> and she just complained about the, the man. And I'm like, well, just. Uh, My yeah. Gosh. I mean, at that age, I'm telling you, like, what? No argue, no makeup. So every now and again, a little something to make up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I That's mean, awesome. yeah, yeah. Because I mean, there are some things, and 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 props to 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 all the guys who do this. When you you know, there's something going on, and then you guys really just want to uh, have that same problem or uh, again, and you guys. Um, make it a point not to not to do that right conscious and the same thing with the with the um ladies who do that it's just props to them because it's at one point it's just not necessary to just keep arguing for sure because <laughs> like, it's so tiring for real for sure exactly yeah okay so let me see tony life always brings new situations to disagree about but we're both very creative people and we understand that we each other are contributing to grow and learn. We're 95% on the same page. That's a great percentage. 95% on the same page is a great percentage. It's really great. <laughs> exactly. Like, why are you leaving some? <laughs> Thank you, Sammy. I was like, but what did he do? Like, and she's just over there packing. She's a little 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 thing and she's over there packing and i'm like leaving. <laughs> where are you going oh my god i'm gonna leave me she went to the daughter's house and i was like oh my god i yeah that's, that's, that's very, something that's very true paul what there comes a point you are too old to train a new one Mm-hmm. yeah you learn and grow and the first year of marriage can be the biggest challenge yeah yeah well the thing the thing that we have uh, like Folgers and i we work together as you know we work together a lot and that's that's basically where kind of like we got to to know each other and the way we think and and how 
there was some conflict that that happened, for example, and then how to fix it, and then they later translate it into into real life, and and then we were able to solve it because of, of working together and things like that. So that is, and and it is something where like, okay, you, there's gonna be conflict, but the live ahead seems so amazing that it's like, okay, okay, Fulgens, I'll make you a sandwich at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm taking notes here. <laughs> I'm gonna play back yeah. this live live <laughs> stream. What's the timestamp on that one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, retirement can challenge a couple if you're not prepared for it. Oh, mm. you know what? But if they retire to 65, that's that's 20 plus years of of. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's a lot. I don't know. But yeah, good this, for you guys who have been married for such a while. This will make a good um, official on official episode conversation. For sure. Yeah, for sure. You're probably going to be my guest there, Fulgence, for that. Am I? Wouldn't you need some of these experienced people like bring Bishop on here, Tony? Yeah, but you, you would need to be there as the other half. Speaking from um, <laughs> what perspective? Get through the oh, layers. Yeah, that's right. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. That, the, the other half perspective. Got you. Mm-hmm. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. The first three years you get acquainted, acquainted, you have you to have what? <laughs> Fulton, read that for me. The I'm first like three years done. you get acquainted, you have to come to know a little bit more, and we'll be able to manage your life. Uh huh. Yeah, that is true. And I told Fulton, the only thing you can have is um. It's um, it's it's a dog. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> which one I, dog, which, like which, one which, little dog. Which I still, which I still contemplate because, listen, you have to get up early every single morning, <laughs> walk the dog, right, and mm. then bring the dog back in. If it was wet outside, you got to wipe the paws before the dog comes back in the house or wherever. You got to feed the dog, pay attention to the dog, Mm -hmm. then walk the dog again in the afternoon. Wipe its paws again when you come in because it's Mm -mm. been wet outside, whatever the case might be. Feed the dog again. The dog poops inside the house. You got to clean the poop (laughs) inside the house. The dog pees on the find little pee um like hiding spots to pee around the place if it's a boy dog you got to clean it up scold the dog it's a lot of work and you have to do this every single day every single day yeah i think dogs are super cute i actually when i'm feeling kind of down in a date or whatever i mm-hmm. watch dog videos and they're they just lift me yeah. up but yeah. having a dog I'm, I'm i can't i can't do it it's and, just i think yeah. about all the possible you know what dog sitting would be the perfect time of a dog right You're just yeah. like yeah it's the, come yeah. here little one and then yeah. the owner comes and and you're done you got all your pets and stuff right um, right <laughs> the sandwich <laughs> right elizabeth no and i've owned i've owned quite a few dogs you know and I, i've been through the process and i dog sat and everything you know so. <laughs> Do you see Sammy's yeah. question? If yeah. I'm gonna put you in a frame, <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, I'm moving on up. Moving on up. <laughs> I'm, a I'm thinking up there about it. Show. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Devin, <laughs> fish tank. Oh my gosh, why, why we went, dog? you guys. Right, Wait. we went to the aquarium. But before that, <laughs> the deer. What? Yeah, this deer. I don't need a dog, right? This oh my deer. gosh, <laughs> right? It's a... <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> now that we went to the aquarium, we were looking at all the fish and Fulgence is like, I'm like, oh, a fish tank. And he's like, no fish tank. <laughs> That's another no. one. That's another one. Yeah. I'm done with fish. I'm done. Algae. I, heard... I have algae. Algae. Uh, PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard, I heard that cats are easier to take care of than dogs because they're independent. If I, I mean, cats are okay. I wouldn't own a cat if I had a choice, right? I will, I will go for a a dog. But I would describe my personality from what I've heard as a cat personality because I am so independent and and sometimes <laughs> I just want to be like, oh boy. 
<laughs> and then and I just want to be like away and not have like any noise or anything like that. So I will say, you know, for that aspect, cats, but I don't think I will own one. Right. And you're the same way, Fulgence, right? Yeah, I'm not. I don't like cats. I'm more. I'm a dog lover. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, and and <laughs> yeah. apparently I'm a seal lover too Because those seals are so cute They look just like uh, They're like underwater dogs just, You I don't understand I seals, sea lions, autos They're amazing, amazing. Fulgens was in love with all these things We watched the show And he was just like like. They're so cute they The are sea cute. lions are so cute They are so cute Cats rule, dogs drool. Well, they they do. They're they're kind of disgusting for that. But yeah, Bishop, I will just watch dog videos. I'll crack up with dogs because they're so funny. But then I don't have to clean everything. You you know what it is going out on the street and and picking a hot a hot poop. No, thank you. I cannot do that. It was it, no. Sammy's That's... onto something here. Maybe we should get chickens and ducks. <laughs> if we lived in another climate, which I don't know how Katie keeps those. She says they have a heater. Yo, but they have high tech stuff for them for those chickens and stuff. <laughs> you guys at the aquarium, we saw this crab that was like this big, and Fulgens and I are like. If we get you, we'll cook you and eat you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you see, so guys, we have reached the food segment of Building Blocks. Oh Welcome God, to the food segment so of Building good. Blocks. Oh my gosh. We were saying, so how many of you guys are like this, right? Like where I grew up in a household where, you know, my mother will bring crab, fresh crab is still alive, and you, it's like nipping at the bag and everything like that. And then. It, we freeze it, put it in the freezer, and then we cook it, right? So if we're at the aquarium and I see this big ass crab with these big ass crab legs, I want to eat you. I'm not gonna wait till you're dead. I'm like, I'm ready to. I want to grab you and <laughs> put you in the boiler right now. That thing looked juicy. <laughs> I don't think it's even eatable though because it was huge, you guys. It was like this thing was like about this big. Oh my god! The head only, and Fulton's just like, there's probably so much meat in Listen, there. Listen, we just needed some roasted potatoes and some <laughs> butter and some seasoning, and you're set. That thing was delicious. Uh, Oh my gosh, that goats. Delicious. Yeah, goats seem pretty cool, but goats are also tasting good. So I wouldn't <laughs> have a goat as a pet. But that's the thing. You see, like, that's the only thing. It's like stuff like that, like, you know, like mammals, like goats and everything like that, even though we eat them. But that's not something like I'm going to see, like, oh, that goat's looking nice. Like, I think it's only with crab and lobster. That's the only thing, like, underwater. Like, that's the only type of live creature where i'm like i want to eat you <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> you the know? lobster and not the lobster, chicken, not ducks and, nothing none of that right? right the lobster they walk and then they whack their tails like can you catch me i'm like i can, I can, <laughs> I can, I can, can catch, catch you, you and, <laughs> and create some <laughs> lobster tail mac and cheese <laughs> 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 right <laughs> bishop some old bay put some old bay seasoning or are you familiar with slap your mama seasoning throw some some of those on <laughs> We're over there oh talking about like, oh, we get some butter. <laughs> Just eat this crap. They're so good. Oh my oh. gosh, I'll get the, I'll get the, but it's true. The lobster walk, like they have a, like, you know, they, 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 like, <laughs> I'm like, keep teasing me like that. I'm a, <laughs> Yo, they know. Potatoes, corn, spicy seasoning. Yes. I wanted to take, jack that thing from the aquarium and put it in a bag or something and just run. <laughs> Ooh, oh, wait, this, wait, Crutchen, standard size for what? The crabs? Probably. The, the... That thing was huge, though. We, it was yeah, huge. Yeah, we took a picture. We but can, it didn't show because it had we, widespread. We can feed the entire like LGL <laughs> group <laughs> with that love, that crab. No, you know what? I can't eat crab though, and and you can too, Fulton. So we, I'm I'm a seafood lover. I get that. I, I eat. <laughs> Yo, listen. <laughs> Exactly. You're like, come here, baby. Let me talk to you about something. <laughs> thank you, Awesome Productions. Yeah, yeah. Slap your mama. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Devin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I mean, man. like, that's it. 
And it's so good because you barely get full when you're eating right. crab legs those or seafood. Do not belong. Like can... Those things do not belong in the aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> they belong in the pot. <laughs> Oh, for sure. For sure. Because we love seafood and we love um, meat. Like Fulgens is a meat eater and I love seafood. Actually, Fulgens, you eat, you just love everything that's protein, right? Yeah. But, you know, lately and like lately, lately, like several months now, you know, I've been, you know, in YouTube, right? We, we mm -hmm. do the Impossible Burgers and the Beyond Burgers and things of that nature, like in just not try to eat meat every single day you mm -hmm. know? and mm -hmm. i don't know I don't, I don't get tired of that stuff i do not get tired of my impossible burgers and my beyond burgers and my cauliflower hash browns and all those things like mm -mm. i love it i love it no you guys if it's, it's up to fulgence he eats the same thing every day eat it every day and i just i'm like and then, and he's like and he's like oh let me make you some and i'm like i don't want any right. <laughs> But as, and as a result of it, though, like, you know, we don't eat meat as often as we, you know, as we, we would end up eating. Meat, yeah. So, right? Yeah. But and just I like mean, special like occasions, fish. like holidays or we're on vacation or away, of course. Right. But like mm -hmm. at, from at home, why not? Right. Why not cut down on the meat? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. But mm -hmm. swordfish, salmon, mm -hmm. shrimp, bacalao, which is the salted, salted, what is right. it? Salted yep. the, codfish? Uh, yeah, huh? And then also smoke herring and things like that. Yes. yes. Vegan somewhat mm. kinda, yep. Or pescatarian. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> Sam good. Sammy, this is the food segment. You know, <laughs> the overlays are segment. done. You this see the finished food. product here. We taught you how to, you could do it and you could use it for a countdown. Now we have it as an animated background. So we're talking about the food. <laughs> <laughs> and, we, and we're hypnotizing you as we speak because of Right. <laughs> I mean, see, this, this background here is not as busy as I thought it would be because, like, it's just kind of soothing right is it soothing to you yeah it's not like you know just like look at me look at me look at me it's just flowing so well in the background so i thought it would be a little <laughs> bit more distracting than it would but it's not as distracting so it's cool so you can sleep looking at it not sleep looking at it no but you said it's distract is for the it's, sake it's of the stream soothing? for the sake of the stream it's pretty cool you know sammy <clears throat> i check next week because um Fulgence is due next week back home. <laughs> I'm due. So, <laughs> I'm he's due, due back home. <laughs> I'm about um, to pop out my baby. <laughs> we have, uh huh? I'm about to pop a baby out. I'm due, you say. <laughs> <laughs> he's due back here. Um, we're going to have a surprise for all of you guys that is related to what we're talking about right now, but it's going to be at a very uh, practical level very practical mm -hmm. and you guys are gonna love it because of what we all do which is sit in front of the computer and do what we do produce or create content or videos this is gonna be amazing for the community so amazing. we are amazing mm -hmm. <laughs> yes <laughs> sammy's officially hungry <laughs> 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 oh, Fulgence. No, he popped. He already, he already popped, actually. <laughs> <laughs> he already popped. Oh my gosh, the standard side of, you know what? I'm going go to go to the south again and get um, to this. Oh, I think I think Awesome Productions. Oh, Awesome Productions is probably like, uh, rewind a little bit in this commenting. Like, the comments are coming in now. So, through the oh. background. So, Awesome Productions, we're in the future right now, like Alec is. So, <laughs> when you do get to this, uh no because we don't have anything it's just gonna be black it's just like a black background so if we let's just do this right i'm gonna I'm not going to demo but i'm gonna bring this to the to the top and then shift do transparent and bring it back down oh it stopped no it's still there but you see what it does so hold on and then the source makes the source blank yeah it doesn't really help it doesn't really help because it just gets darker you know that's what happens i mean it's a movie right you know? so you, you need you it needs to be um you know already you, done when you're before you record it you have to set your opacity right you know unless you have a different color underneath yeah you could lower the opacity you know or um, on top you can overlay it with a with a text box right and right. then lower the but opacity the, there and then that will mat it a little bit right but you know it, this is just like this this is meant to be a solid background 
So hope that answers your question. Well, awesome production. I get you because I am. I'm, I, I like tone down um, mm -hmm. stuff. And also too, right? So remember, like this is controlled. We're con you control this mm -hmm. in the recording, right? So this is like what one like every two seconds or something like that we're changing it right you can do it like maybe once every maybe like five seconds or ten seconds right or do something completely different right so just remember that like it's up to you because this was meant to be a uh, intro but we're seeing that it works as a background as well Fultons, do you know I don't have the did you know ENN um, thing. No, no, no. <laughs> I was like, Fulton, do you know? Do you know? You're supposed to say what? Do you know? What? It is 10.20 p.m. Yes. It's that time. Yep, you could create a color. Yeah, exactly, Bishop. Exactly. Yeah, so Awesome Productions is in the past. So, <laughs> like, he's up to the argument part. See? Or he or she, yeah. sorry. They're up to the argument part. <laughs> oh, so, okay. Right. So you were watching. Like, How can you be? Awesome. Okay. Because yeah, no, you could rewind on YouTube. You could rewind. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Awesome production. You're just, you're, you're in the, okay. We're in the future. That's awesome. That is so, you know, that's what they, people say for real. There's no absolute truth. That's one. And then the other one piggybacking from that is this, right? We, we, we're here. We are we're still here but he's in the past we're not in the future we are here still in the present but he's in, in the past right in we, the, we're in the in the, in in the, the present past. is not future yeah life is so interesting i love life life is so just full of awesomeness and puzzles yes, yes. all right yeah well this was amazing yes you guys okay so we're gonna write all of these great features that requests and all of the um suggestions that you guys mm -hmm. gave us so to make our plan for 2022 mm -hmm. if you have any questions afterwards you you watch the replay for something and you have you know some other question popped up feel free to send us an email at anna and fulgens at gmail.com and we will answer them for you and do the same thing we'll answer the first when we start and then we do the tutorial yes, yes yeah yes, time yes. is not a straight line that's yeah. right yeah mm -hmm. this is mm -hmm. starting to remind me of uh loki on disney plus mm -hmm. with the life is the time, i'm telling you the timekeepers it is so it is so great like the, the the fact that there's no absolute truth that what you believe was true when you were a child it's no longer true when you're an adult because you find out what the truth really is and mm -hmm. then afterwards you're still finding out what that truth is mm -hmm. and it just goes into like a crazy continuum it's oh my gosh yeah. life so great life okay okay before we get into all philosophical here which is my <laughs> middle name um <laughs> Anna, philosophical heel <laughs> no apologies you get pretty philosophical too about what were you talking about like why is it that animals who are aggressive show up as being aggressive why do life what we to make it here. that way we will be here another half hour if we start getting into that <laughs> so. and you guys just went on with that and i'm like mm -hmm, yeah sharks look mean and they are mean we'll save that for <laughs> next time we'll save that for next time oh gosh you I guys have, are I so have great questions about that <laughs> what oh my gosh matrix yes oh mm -hmm. jesus lord of all lords yes this, the matrix <clears throat> this you know how mm. ironic it's the same day as ken and glenn's q a and, yeah well the, there are different times there are different times so no, we're, no, we no, won't no, miss i'm just no i'm just saying like it's so ironic that the matrix is being released the same day as ken and glenn's q a i'm just saying i wonder what it's came first cool. though the chicken or the egg <laughs> 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 All this, right. this is great you guys if on. you find any funny dog videos please send it to me so that i can collect them so when i have a sad day i can look through those because i have a i have a save kit right a, a save kit where like when i'm sad that's the kit that i go to and it includes pictures of dogs and videos of 
So, but it's becoming a little bit. I need more. So, if you do have some, send them my way. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Hi everybody! Thank you so much for being here with us. Signing <laughs> off. <laughs> that was, okay. That is going to be uh, uh, <laughs> another uh, ENN question. Oh really? Okay. Who so meaning by minutes? Who came first, Ken or Glenn? That is so funny. Who came out the womb first? Okay. We will get to the bottom. We of that will get to that. You know what? I'm gonna write it right now so we mm -hmm. don't forget it because you know. And then the mom will be like, ah, no, no, no. I wonder who ate first and who was, you know, came first. Okay, who came first? Ken or Glenn? Bishop. <laughs> right. Are we plugged in? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, for real, all of that. Oh, my gosh. We will be here forever. You guys, if you guys start talking Matrix, I, I could be hungry for days <laughs> and, and just speak. Um, if we're talking about being plugged in that's what's happening everybody especially gen z they are just plugged mm. in that's a whole plugged other conversation right in there. and then after when you unplug them and they see reality for real because they're playing games and they're eating in these games and they're eating and all of a sudden that like f that happens to my son sometimes he comes out and he's like i'm like when did you, when was the last time you ate and then we had to kind of take it off unplug him and it was like neo man like for right, real right, it was right. it was remember for just yeah. it was like neo mm -hmm. and i'm like oh you know what this is so this, Wait, this is the whole truth are you guys serious so sammy's like say i'm a twin and i want to know and bishop is a twin as well what are you guys serious or are you joking no sammy you are not a twin bishop are you a twin for real we want to see that's why coming. you did all those overlays we, that explains how you did all those overlays so quickly we want you to had see six. we want to see your twins on interview mode <laughs> <laughs> bring, bring them in. Bring them on. <laughs> Wait. It will be a twin, a twin overlay. Um, right. Interview overlay. Ken is oh older than gosh. Glenn, but Glenn was born before Ken. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> to, what? Wow. Okay. So yeah, which one are you, Sammy? Sammy. Um. Welcome to the seventh hour of Building the Lags. <laughs> <laughs> that is if we're talking Matrix. If we're talking Matrix, uh, I'm, I'm there. Oh my gosh. Awesome Productions, you are so welcome. Yes. You too. Night and day. So are you in the day, Awesome Production, right now? You in We're in about the day? to be in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Devin. <laughs> okay, you know what? Folks you know Because Anna ate, that's why exactly right i'm like all set and i'm like you know i could be hungry i could talk about the matrix but that's because i already ate mm -hmm. that's good okay you guys you are amazing now we're really gonna sign off we will see you next monday mm -hmm. at nine o'clock eastern standard time right here my name is anna here <laughs> and i'm full <laughs> of jokes <laughs> good night you Bye. guys good night you guys